I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Bahashem, or Kal Kadash, to give me spirit to do this video. Let's jump right to it. Hebrews chapter 11, starting at verse 29. By faith, they passed through the Red Sea, as by dry land, which the Egyptians, a saying to do, were drowned. Now it says, by faith, they. Now, if you start at verse 23, I'm going to read that real quick. By faith, Moses, when he was born, was hid three months of his parents because they saw he was a proper child and they were not afraid of the king's commandments. So from 23 all the way down to this verse, it speaks about Moses, 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 and the faith that was surrounding Moses. Okay. Now, in verse 29, when it says, by faith, they, who is the they? Is it talking about all of Israel? Absolutely not. How do we know that? Let's go to Exodus. Exodus chapter 14, starting at verse 10. And when Pharaoh drew nigh, the children of Israel lifted up their eyes. And behold, the Egyptians marched after them, and they were so afraid. And the children of Israel cried out unto the Lord. And they said unto Moses, Because there was no graves in Egypt, hast thou taken us away to die in the wilderness? Exactly. Right. So where is the faith in that? Okay, these people, the Israelites that were with Moses, had no faith, man. Okay, they were complaining, murmuring, demons, man. They wanted to go back to Egypt, as I'm reading. Read on. Wherefore hast thou dealt with us to carry us forth out of Egypt? Is not this the word that we did tell thee in Egypt, saying, Let us alone, that we may serve the Egyptians? But it had been better for us to serve the Egyptians than that we should die in the wilderness. Let's go back to Hebrews. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 29. By faith, they passed through the Red Sea as by dry land, which the Egyptians are saying to do were drowned. So that faith is talking about Moses, man. Moses' faith, man. By Moses' faith, they passed through. Okay? Israel as a whole did not have faith in that moment, man. As I was reading, man. Okay? And this is real heavy, man, what you think about it, man, because... When Moses split the sea through the spirit of Yahweh, man, okay, through the Most High, Moses himself still had to have what? Faith in order for it to happen. Otherwise, it wasn't going to happen, man. And who put that faith in Moses? The Most High, Yahweh, okay? But remember, okay, I'm not going to get it, but remember in the scriptures, when the Most High needed Moses to talk to Israel, and Moses said what? He was slow in speech, man, meaning he had no faith in that situation. And it said it pissed the Most High off, man, to the point where he said, you know what? I'll send Aaron because he knew Aaron would have faith to do it. So the Most High uses you to do things, man. OK, you do it through faith that he puts in you. But if you don't have faith, he ain't going to have you do it, man. All right. He was testing Moses, man. The Most High already knew he was going to have Aaron do it because he knows all things, as we know. OK. So for Moses to split the sea, he had to have faith to split the sea. That's how deep and heavy faith is. All right. OK, let's go back to Exodus chapter 14. I'm going to start at 11. Back at 11, I'm going to read down. And they said unto Moses, because there was no graves in Egypt, hast thou taken us away to die in the wilderness? Wherefore hast thou dealt thus with us to carry us forth out of Egypt? Is not this the word that we did tell thee in Egypt, saying, Let us alone, that we may serve the Egyptians? For it had been better for us to serve the Egyptians than that we should die in the wilderness. Verse 13. And Moses said unto the people, Fear ye not, stand still, and see the salvation of Yahweh. Right. So when Moses said that, he said that in faith, in confidence. All right. He was very faithful when he said that, man. Okay? Otherwise, it wouldn't have worked, man. He knew it was going to work. Okay? Now, granted, Yahweh told him to do that. But guess what? He had to believe as well. How do we know that? Once again, didn't Yahweh tell Moses to go speak to Israel? And what did he say? He was slow in speech. There you go. That's how you put it together, man. You got to put these scriptures together, man, and really understand all right. Back at 13. And Moses said unto the people, fear ye not, stand still and see the salvation of Yahweh, which he will show to you today for the Egyptians whom you have seen today. 
you shall see them again no more forever. The Lord shall fight for you, and you shall hold your peace. So Moses knew in his heart that something big was about to happen, man. Something epic, man. He had faith, and everybody else didn't have no faith, okay? Now, Aaron was with him, all right? And Aaron played a big part when you read the story of Moses dealing with the Pharaoh, okay, and certain things. Aaron was up in there, man. As I said earlier, man, when Moses didn't want to speak because he didn't have faith, saying he was slow of speech, the Most High called Aaron to do it. Just making that point. All right? Verse 15. And the Lord said unto Moses, Wherefore cries thou unto me? Speak unto the children of Israel that they may go forward. But lift up thy rod and stretch out thy hand over the sea and divide it. And the children of Israel shall go on dry ground through the midst of the sea. Okay? Through the mix of the sea. Now let's go back to Hebrews again. Hebrews 11. Verse 29, by faith they passed through the Red Sea. Now here it is, when you read in Exodus, Yahweh is telling Moses to stretch forth your rod to split the Red Sea so that Israel may pass through. But that Israel that's passing through wanted to go back to Egypt. You see? They didn't have faith, man. They thought they was going to die. Okay? So let's finish 29 again. By faith they passed through the Red Sea. By Moses' faith. Okay? As by dry land. Let's go back. Exodus 14, read back at 16 verse. But lift up thy rod and stretch out thy hand over the sea and divide it, and the children of Israel shall go on dry ground through the mix of the sea. By Moses' faith, man. <laughs> Moses had to have faith to pull this off, man. He didn't just do it, man. Most I didn't just use him to do it, and that's it. Come on now. If you think that, you're being simple. Don't be simple. And I, behold, I will harden the hearts of the Egyptians, and they shall follow them. And I will get me honor upon Pharaoh, and upon all his hosts, upon his chariots, and upon his horsemen. And the Egyptians shall know that I am the Lord, when I have gotten me honor upon Pharaoh, upon his chariots, and upon his horsemen. So, as you see right now, it proves it in the spirit that, yes, Yahweh wanted Moses to do that. But Moses had faith in his spirit to stretch forth his hands, man. Okay? He couldn't do it timid. He had to believe. So my question to you, brothers, all across the globe, what's the difference between the Most High telling you and you just doing it through faith, man? Okay? Anything is possible, man. This proves it. All right? You have to look at the scriptures for what it is and really understand it, man, with wisdom. That Moses had faith to do this which is why it happened. Not just because he had Moses do it. Okay? There's a big difference, man. From there, let's go to Matthew chapter 17, verse 20. And Yahweh said unto them, them is the disciples, okay, when they couldn't cast off the demons, all right? And they asked the Lord why we couldn't cast them off. So it says, And Yahweh said unto them, because of your unbelief, for verily I say unto you, if you have faith as a grain of a mustard seed, you shall say unto this mountain, Remove hence to yonder place, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. Right. To the average person, splitting the sea would be impossible. But it became possible with Moses because he believed, even though all the other Israelites didn't believe it, man. They was ready to go back in Egypt to serve the Egyptians, man. They were about to die, according to them, man. So do you see what faith does, man? Faith even splits seas. All right. It divides waters, man. It does anything because why? I'm going to read it again. And it shall remove and nothing shall be impossible unto you. OK, did not Moses remove the waters and split it? <laughs> so, brothers, hey, man, a lot of spiritual things are about to go on a high level, man. Like I said, we always say we already got a form of spiritual power when we do. But what I'm talking about is things that seem impossible to the average people beyond what we have seen so far. Things are about to go on a high level, man. It's truth, man. We're about to see some things we ain't never seen before. Reach some places that we ain't never reached before by our faith, man. Okay? Within this body, man. Whoever you are, whoever you are, man, it's about to happen. We're in that time. You have to have faith to believe that. It's not miracles. 
part of the body? When you read about the body in the different offices in faith? Of course it is, man. Did not Yahweh Shah say, you should do greater works than me because I go unto my father? Of course. Did not the disciples raise uh, people from the dead, cast off demons? Of course. So I'm telling you, brothers, to get ready for things that you have never seen before, man, and embrace it, man, okay, and cast away doubt, man, and only believe, only believe. With that, I hope all you brothers were edified. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakal Kodash. To give me your spirit to do this video. Double honors to the elders of Great Millstone. And Shalom to your Akamar that is doing the truth and sincerity. Shalom.